A federal judge has sentenced a January 6th rioter to seven years in prison, which is the longest sentence so far for participants in the Capitol insurrection. Joining us now is Guy Reffitt's son, Jackson Reffitt. Jackson warned the FBI about his father both before and after the insurrection. Jackson, thank you so much for being with us this morning. How are you feeling? How are you reacting to this sentence? Uh, I mean, I'm not happy at all, and I haven't been happy through this whole situation. In my head. No one in my family has either. Um, but to say I'm surprised would be a lie. I mean, um, every, everything my dad did, he's his own person, and uh, his action has co consequences, And but I'm not happy at all. Do you think he deserves this length of sentence? Uh, abs I mean, absolutely. Uh, he deserves some time, uh, rather to, uh, for anything, to rehabilitate for men his mental health. Um, he deserves uh, a lot of safety nets. Um, but yes, he does. You have worries about him being in prison that long? You mentioned his mental health. Absolutely. I mean, the prison system uh, in this country can be pretty harsh uh, for a lot of reasons. And to blame my dad's deteriorating uh, mental health uh, for a pretty bad effect on him, um, I'm not going to be surprised. Um, but, I mean, that's why I mentioned it in my letter. Do you now or have you throughout any of this process had any th second thoughts about turning him in? Absolutely not, but it still bears the guilt that he is his own person and he has made his own choices, but he's also been um, pretty much manipulated into making those choices. And it pains me that he is still responsible for his actions. Part of the reason was that your father carried a weapon. He did not enter the Capitol, but he also decided that he was going to trial instead of accepting a plea. And that obviously is something that would have potentially gotten him a longer sentence, more time in jail. It seemed in court that he regretted that a bit, but why do you think he wanted to do that initially? Why do you think he wanted to be an example? I, I, can't, think, I can't think of anything other than my own experience with my father, knowing that he is a narcissist and that he has a rather large ego. Um, and it was horrible to see him make that decision, knowing that he could have gotten up much easier. And I feared the moment that he was offered that and he denied it, that he would deny it and try to fight it in court. And I knew it wasn't going to end up like anything other than it is right now.